so I know I haven't made a video in a while. I've just honestly been going through a lot of stuff lately. Um, I messed my knee up and some other things that I really don't want to talk about. And my computer's been acting up, so I haven't been able to able to uh, la, 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 haven't even been able to edit videos. But I got it fixed, so hopefully you guys can see this video soon. But before I get started, I do want to mention that I did get my hair cut. Um, it was just getting too much to handle, and I just wanted something easier and just, just lighter. So, that's what I did. And also, before I get any comments about Oompa Loompa, yes, my face is orange, and I am completely aware of it. I got my first spray tan today, and I've never done it before, and because I was always afraid that it was going to turn out orange. But, good job. Jessica, you did it even though you knew it was going to happen. So I can't be mad at it because I knew it was going to happen. I just thought maybe I would be lucky. But I literally packed on like pounds of white powder and scrubbed my face all day. So hopefully, you know, it doesn't look that bad. Because <laughs> I've always just done like tanning outside or in tanning beds. But I wanted to get tan quick. So this is the result, I guess. So today's video let's get started on it now being a single mother I've noticed that potty training is probably one of the hardest things that I've ever had to do and I mean I've done like talking teaching her how to talk it's like it's difficult but potty training is probably one of the hardest things it's one of those things that I just wish that I could just give her to somebody for like about a week and they could potty train her and she can come home I mean, I'm sure a lot of other parents have thought about that, but being a mother, you don't get easy things. I rather would go through the newborn stage again of not sleeping, honestly, than potty training. That's like how bad it is for us right now. Like she'll be like, oh, I need to go potty, and she'll sit on the toilet, and then she'll be done. I think like her fashion, she loves washing her hands. So I think she'd rather she figures, okay, I go on the potty, to wash my hands. So we're has she's gone a couple times but not that much now I've done a lot of research on potty training and it says within the first week that you should stay home the entire time which is pretty much impossible if you're a single mom and you don't really have that much help from anybody and you're just doing it by yourself and granted like her dad will potty train her and stuff when she's at his house but that's only for a couple hours like a week so it's not you know like she's there as much as she's with me so it is more my responsibility to potty train her but it's impossible to stay home for a whole week between like doctor's appointments or grocery shopping or just everyday errands it's like things that you need to get done and you have to leave your house to do so I decided to put together a potty training diaper bag if you will so I'm gonna show you guys what I put in mine so hopefully this will help you guys with potty training and you won't have to be stuck in your house the entire time so let's get started okay so first you're gonna need flushable wipes I mean you can use regular wipes I just feel like the flushable ones are easier because you just quickly throw them out on the like toilet and flush them and go in about your day but you can use regular wipes as well I actually got these ones at Walmart and then of course a potty seat this is only like $20 at Walmart I mean, they do have, like, I know, like, some bathrooms and, like, club places have the, like, the toddler seat in the family bathrooms. They have, like, the big seat and then they have, like, the toddler seat. But I just, I'm, I personally do not want Kayla sitting on this seat. I, she hasn't mastered squatting yet as a girl, which every girl knows you do not sit on the public seat. We do squats. So, that's what we're dealing with right now. And if we go to a park, I take her actual like her toilet seat which is downstairs i just did like bringing that up to do this video and i put like a like a bag like a walmart bag or just any type of bag inside the pot and she does her business and then you just take the bag and throw it away so she doesn't go in the porter potties because that's just disgusting because i don't even go in a porter potty so i'm not gonna make my child go in a porter potty and you're going to need lots and lots of underwear they also have like these sticker ones that are meant for potty training and they absorb more because that way but right now I actually don't have I can't find them they're all dirty right now and the reason that I say underwear instead of pool lobs because I've noticed 
with the pool ups, it's more like a diaper for her. Like she doesn't experience the wetness. And in a diaper, I mean, in a underwear, if she pees, like she'll feel the wetness right away and she'll get grossed out and like, wait, no, this isn't, I don't like this feeling. And I've noticed when she does, on, is on the underwear, she does go to the bathroom more frequently than she has on pull ups. And of course, I, I'm a hundred percent in praising your child when they do when they go to the potty because it's just a positive reinforcement like if anything like if you do something good if you get reinforced like if you're someone's praising you you're going to want to do it more so i just have some quick um stickers at home i do have like a big treasure chest and there's like candies and stickers and toys and a bunch of different things but when we're out in the go i'm not going to bring this big box and have her pick what she wants i just do stickers and also, as along with the diet, um underwear, sorry, I'm looking down, looking at my notes. You want to have at least two different outfits, just in case she pees. She's going to want to change the outfit. Sometimes she's peed so much, it's got to be in her stomach, which I don't know how, but just a, two different outfits should be fine. I mean, if you're going to be out for a longer period of time, lo you know, just use your judgment. I usually, for about six hours i do about two outfits which is pretty which you don't ever actually need it more than one and if you're gonna if she's gonna be somewhere where you're gonna take a nap during her time sleeping i mean during her time out i recommend getting this cloth i honestly don't know where this was at her dad bought it but i'm sure you can get like a baby's R Us or walmart i'm sure you can get it anywhere and it's just like a thicker cloth that you put under them when they're taking a nap so that they just don't ruin the mattress or the couch or whatever it is that they are sleeping it's just a thicker thing to absorb it and you can just throw it in the washer and it'll be good and also a bag to put whether the pee underwear the clothes or like I said, also, you can even put it in the, um, pot, like the, the potty for when they're using it. So a couple, sorry, it's going to be annoying. A couple of different bags. I mean, I just use Walmart bags, but you can pretty much use anything. And finally, hand sanitizer. <laughs> because if you're out at like a park, for instance, and they have to go to the bathroom and there's not a sink, hand sanitizer. I'm all about I'm a clean freak when it comes to her hands because she wants to put her hands in her mouth and she always wants to eat. Like, this child, I'm surprised she's not like 800 pounds. Like, she's always eating. So, I want to make sure her hands are always clean. So, that's just the things that I bring with us when we go out and we're pot during potty training. If you guys have any other tips or anything else that you guys bring out, leave in the comments below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Hey guys, I just want to thank you for watching and just click your screen now to subscribe for new weekly videos. Say bye. Say bye. Bye.